Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is this turquoise glitter glam. I have been dying to do a blue glitter look for Ever. I just couldn't find the inspo I needed. But last week, Deck of Scarlet hooked me up with their number seven palette, and this palette is in collaboration with YouTuber Roxette Arisa. And it had a color in here that just like, first of all, made my jaw drop because I was like, this is what I've been needing. And it is the shadow Bora Bora in this palette. So it's just this really pretty. Like, I almost want to say like a baby blue color. And you guys, when I saw this, I was like, yes, this is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. So I created this look for you guys today using hella shades of blue and lots and lots of glitter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. So first, you guys, I'm taking my Fix Plus spray and giving my face a spritz of this. So I was about to do my like face first, my foundation, highlight and contour, all that first. But I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes first because I just have a feeling that I'm going to be experiencing some fallout today because of the colors I'm planning on using. So I think it's just going to be best if I just do my eyes first. So the concealer that I use for my brows is the Maybelline Fit Me, which is what I always use. And I just pulled it down over my eyelid to kind of you know prep my lid for the shadow and now I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set that concealer in place I really do not like the Laura Mercier I feel like I'm always that person that never likes what everybody else likes but seriously I don't know the Laura Mercier just makes me look ghostly maybe I'm using it wrong if I am Tell me how to use it down below because I really love to get, you know, my money's worth out of it. So to start this look off, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek Shadow and Frappe to apply in my transition area. And this is literally like the color of my skin tone. So if you can't see it, it's not your eyes. You, you literally wouldn't even be able to see it in person. So next I'm going to go in with my Sugar Pill Palette. And in my Pro Palette, I have this really pretty blue. So I'm going to go in with this next. Now to really get the pigment of the sugar pill shadows, you do have to kind of build it up. But it's so worth it when you do because these colors are like so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I should have totally taped my eyes off. Crap. <laughs> Girl, I was not thinking. Oh my gosh. I'm taking this color up kind of high too, you guys, because I'm going to go in... With a few different shades of blue and I still want this baby blue to be peeking through a lot of times I don't bring up like my like base like colors like base eyeshadow colors up enough and when I don't bring them up far enough the other shadows I end up adding kind of like on top just end up covering it up so I'm bringing it up kind of far but you guys, just trust my process, okay? Just, just trust it. So now we're going to hop back into my custom Makeup Geek palette. And I think this is the shade Peacock. All the shades will be down below, but I'm pretty sure this is Peacock, which is this like teal blue. And we're going to add this into our crease and blend it up into this sky blue color by Sugar Peel. And then I'm going to grab that first fluffy crease brush I had with a little bit of that baby blue sugar pill color on it and i'm going to take it at the edge of that makeup geek shade just to really blend those two together and i'm going to go back in with that peacock shade i hope that that's the right name of the color because i've said it quite a lot and i'm just going to build up the intensity of it in my crease and that's a repeat all of that on the other eye <laughs> oh my wrist my wrist hurts just thinking about it <laughs> So now I'm just taking that baby blue shade again from Sugar Peel. And for some reason, the shadow is not taken right there in my crease. But we gonna handle that. We gonna handle that. Now we are going to hop into our electric palette by Urban Decay. I don't know what I was about to say. And I'm going to take the color Chaos, which is this really deep vibrant blue i absolutely love this color blue and we're just going to put this in our crease just like this so really beautiful blue and then i'm going to take that fluffy brush and just blend 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 make sure everything 
is seamless. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to take one of my really light ColourPop concealers and I'm going to use this to cut my crease. Let's see if I have another brush because this one, um, yeah, this brush is like really wonky. Okay, but do you guys see why it's important to really pull those colors up towards your brow? Because when you start to cut out your crease or, uh, you know, do whatever this is called, it, it covers up a lot of the shadow that you put down at first. And I just made a few mistakes. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So whenever your two like cut creases aren't even, what you can do is go into the darkest shadow that you use, or you can even go in with a black. This is just gonna add more definition to like the edge where the concealer is, but I'm gonna go in with that dark blue color from my Urban Decay Electric Palette. And then you can just go in and grab an angled brush and just go along the line of that concealer. And anywhere you messed up, you can just kind of clean up doing that. And then just pull the color upward with the angle brush. This also adds a bit more definition as well. So even if you don't mess up, you may want to do this anyway. So now you guys, time for the fun part. We're going to grab our Deck of Scarlet eyeshadow palette, which inspired this entire look. Oh my goodness. And we are going to go in with this beautiful shade in the center called Bora Bora. Look at that blue. I called this sugar pill shade a baby blue, but that was more like a sky blue because it had a little bit of like green to it. This is definitely more of like that baby blue. Now you guys, we are going to go ahead and line our eyes and I'm going to use my Kat Von D ink liner. My mom talked so much crap about this liner yesterday and she came over and um, I put it on her and she was like, oh my God, what is that? Is that the Sigma one? And I was like, no, it's Kat Von D. She's like, what? Why am I like that? Blah, blah. I'm like, because you probably leave the cap off of it and it dries out, you psycho. It's so quiet in my apartment today, aside from like the occasional airplane and police sirens. But my puppy is being quiet. She's usually like barking up a storm. But I'm thinking it's because like all of my neighbors are gone today. Like where I live, it's like a whole lot of entrepreneurs. So they just stay home all day, which is cool with me. But I'm like, I have to film like y'all are being too loud. So now you guys, it's time for the glitter. I grabbed all types of glitter. I grabbed some teal, some blue, I grabbed glitter sticks. I feel like loose glitter is just gonna get a little too messy. So we're gonna start with the Urban Decay one and if I need to like teal it up a bit, then I'm going to add this teal one here. Or I may just, just mix the two together anyway. That's probably what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start with the Urban Decay. And we're just gonna go over this. And see, it's very like, it's not like super glittery yet, like. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the teal one by Revlon. I'm thinking I'm going to go in with the Revlon dark blue one. I really felt like the Urban Decay was going to do a little bit more than it did. Like I knew it was like a lighter type of glitter liner, but it really did nothing. So I know some of you guys said that these like burn your eyes or something. I haven't experienced that yet. Um, if I do, I would definitely like stop using it immediately. <laughs> um, so if it, you know, burns your eyes, find an another substitute. Definitely don't continue to use this. So now you guys, I'm going to go off camera and put on my lashes. And I'm So what I'm about to do now, you guys, is take some of this chaos color out of that Urban Decay palette and actually kind of just, um put it on kind of like where my outer view would be of this like eyeshadow or where that glitter is. So I already kind of perked my skin with that Fix Plus at the very beginning of the video. So now we're going to pop into 
foundation and of course I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mac and then spread it out a little bit with the brush and to blend this in I'm taking my Sigma Beauty what is this 3D HD blender they sent me a pink one and a black one I was so happy because my puppy chewed up all my beauty blenders and then my one Sigma 3D HD blender and one of my Real Technique sponges so I literally which is working with one Real Technique sponge left in my collection. And then Sigma came through for your girl. Mix it a little, a little bit of my Too Faced Born this way. Because I feel like it's going to give me that, that red that I need. And hopefully this will help that L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible blend out a little bit better. I don't know why, but I just feel like lately I haven't even been liking it as much. Like I've used it in my last couple of like makeup videos that you guys didn't even see like they didn't even make it to youtube because the foundation just looks so bad and i know i'm i'm thinking what happened was l'oreal had like a bad batch because i do remember having one of their like soft sable foundations which is the, which is the shade that i am and it just wasn't right and i kind of tossed it to the side but i didn't toss it out so i think what happened is i grabbed it out and it's this one right here and it's like just a bad batch to highlight i'm going to use my tar shape tape and i'm going to use i'm going to use tan i don't know why but i like it better than tan sand even though tan sand is like a bit more like yellowy i honestly don't like either one of them <laughs> i think they're both just too light for me but it's going to give me i feel like a really dramatic highlight which lately i haven't been liking so maybe I should try to tape shape in a different shade, but I don't know. Like one that's more natural. I also have the one that is what? I love my setup because I'm like right by my Alex doors. I can just pull stuff out. This one is deep, which is like my skin tone. So is there one between like deep and tan sand that I don't know about? If so, let me know. Or is Tarte canceled? Because I know their foundation they released was some straight up bullshit. Oh my god, y'all. This sound, this concealer has just ruined my makeup. <laughs> or maybe I just ruined my makeup. So I just used my Sasha Buttercup to set. And now I'm going to bronze with my Too Faced um, Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I moved and could not find this. I moved back in October. And I knew that it was around here somewhere. And I could not find it. And I found it two days ago when I decided to clean out my makeup drawers. Because, first of all, it was not in the powder drawer. It was in the... I think it was either in my, like, concealer drawer or, like, my eyeliner drawer. I don't know. But it was in, like, the back of one of those drawers. So, alright. And now I'm taking my Tarte um, Contour Palette. This one right here. The gold one. The number two. Now, to me, I'm looking at myself on the monitor. I feel like I looked a little washed out. I don't know if I'm coming across washed out to you guys. I am sitting in front of like a really big window and I'm using my rain light and so that may be it. Now using my Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder, using it to dust away everything so now you guys are basically gonna do what we did on the top on the bottom and even i'm gonna do this blue here it's like a teal but since I never do like a colorful waterline, today is the day. I wish I honestly had like a like a navy blue one. But I don't know. This looks like hella dope. So we're just gonna rock with it. And we're gonna take our mascara and coat our lower lashes. Sugar, if you don't stop jumping up on the side of me, trying to sabotage your makeup tutorial. You guys gonna go in your cage. Wow, cat. I'm gonna take my time. Beautiful things tend to happen. We're gonna use some fancy beauty for our glow today. Wow. 
and this is in the shade fire crystal this is the fire crystal and lightning dusk duo i like how it literally has like no yellow in it at all i'm gonna take a little bit of my brow bone we're gonna do this the right way or not at all so now i'm just gonna take my shirt hello Oh, none. We're getting ready to leave. You want work tomorrow? We can. No, I can come today. Cause you already been out once today, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll talk to Oh, you're so considerate. Well, I'm not late. I'm gonna be on my TV. Yeah. Okay, I feel like I probably keep shifting you guys because I keep having to like get up to take footage off of my camera um, and import it on Final Cut Pro and then delete it because, you know, I'm so trifling I won't go buy another memory card. And plus, my mom was yapping and yapping away for like 25 minutes. So I'm back, but I'm lining my lips with Max Chestnut. And then for my lip color, I'm grabbing the Deck of Scarlet palette again. And I'm going to use this color right here, which is Smooch. It's like a really pretty nude, like a peanut butter nude. And I'm experiencing a bit of creasing. So we're just going to let that sit for a minute. But you guys, this is pretty much the finished look. <laughs> 